All right, so in this video, we'll be looking at installing Huygen locally. So Huygen is basically an open source version of If Then This That or Zapier. In other words, Huygen consumes web services or APIs and then uses that data to perform an action. For example, you could program an agent to pull certain tweets and that's the trigger. And then you could conduct sentiment analysis on those tweets and that's the action. The cool thing is that you can run it locally or on your own server, so you own the data. So setting it up locally is super easy, and you can actually go to the Huygen repository on GitHub, which I will post the URL to in the video description to get the installation instructions. And they are actually right here. And you want to start with the Novus setup guide, and then you'll move to the quick start. And I put together a gist that compiles both of them into one area. And again, I will, I will post this link on the video's description as well. So let's start by cloning the repository. So let's see where I'm at. Let me go to my desktop. and clone it to the desktop. Go ahead and CD into Huygen here. So if you don't have Ruby installed or Ruby gems, you'll want to go ahead and install them. And I've included links here to the official download pages. And after you install Ruby gems, you can install Rake or Bundle or both if you need to. After that, you'll want to use Bundle which is used to install gem dependencies. And we'll use bundle install to install the dependencies for Huygen. And then once that is complete, you'll want to install MySQL Server. And again, you can click the link here. That'll take you to the official site. And you'll just want to grab the version applicable to your operating system. And then you'll want to go ahead and start MySQL Server. So MySQL server start and I'm going to go ahead and open up a new project add folder to project desktop Huygen so we have this file here this .env.example file and we're going to copy that to create a new one and basically this has all of our settings for Huygen in it, so let me go ahead and do that. Let me just copy and paste the actual command here, just to save a little bit of time. And within the settings, you shouldn't have to mess around with this too much. If your username or password are different for MySQL, you may need to change that. If you're deploying it outside of your local machine, then you're going to need to change the setting here. Other than that, the only thing you're going to need to do is create a secret token. And to do that, you can just type rake secret. And make sure you get your own token. Do not use mine. So let me go ahead and paste this in here. Save the file. Next, so we're going to create our development database. So we can do rake db create. I've already installed this, so these are have already been created. So now let's go ahead and push through the migration. And then we'll populate some sample data. Okay, so everything is now installed. So let's go ahead and launch the local server. So form and start. And then if we navigate to localhost port 3000, as soon as it's fired up, okay, it looks like it's loaded. Nope, not yet. Okay, there we go. It is working. 
So let's go ahead and log in. So it's admin, and then the password is password, and those are just defaults. Now we can view our agents. So if you take a look at this SF weather agent, let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see that it is pulling the zip code, and then I've created an API key. Make sure you don't use that key. I'm gonna probably oh, I'm gonna change it after this anyway, so you won't be able to. But if you need to make changes to that, you can just do edit. Come down here, double click in here, and then you can just type in a zip code, type your API key, and then you can change the schedule of how often the agent is ran. I have it running every two minutes right now. So then you can push run. You see we have a scheduled event. Go ahead and run it a few more times. So it just ran. Just ran again. Then we can view the data. So you can see that this is coming through as JSON. You can see the month, day, and year just all the information about the weather, air quality, wind, humidity, location, etc. Okay, so you can go back to the agent screen here and think about the type of actions you could take with, with this collected data. In other words, what could you do with it? You know, you could set up new agents and there's only about six different agents in here right now. Right, well, there, no, it looks like there's a few more than that. So there's a Twitter stream agent that you could do. You could use your Twitter username and password and then use a couple filters and start pulling tweets. Like I said before, you could do like sentiment analysis on that. You could measure how many different tweets are coming in per day with a certain keyword. So it's really up to you what you want to do with that data. And again, all of this is running locally. So you're pulling it directly from Twitter. It's not going through any third party or anything like that. Okay, so hopefully I will have time to do a few more videos just showing how to perhaps maybe I could plot some data on a graph, um, develop a new agent, and I would like to show definitely how to deploy this onto Heroku. So comment if you have questions, tweet, Email your friends, push the thumb up button if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.